In this tutorial, we're going to model something a little bit different. Uh, this time I chose this uh, table, this funny table with rockets. So I'm just, I'm just, go I'm just going to show you the way that uh, we can actually model all this uh, geometry and uh, have fun doing it. So let's go. So first, uh, let's uh, approximately go to the top view and let's see how how big the table should be. Let's say around around thirty five is enough. So so this will be our top of the table, and then. Um, we just need to approximately see uh, so it will be five spots so let's let's find the center first and that will be the first one and then you have a two more on the side and then the other one also so it will be something like this Let's see to make it square. So I'm actually drawing a rectangle, making a line, and I'm just gonna align this on that line to be perfectly aligned, like so. Uh, then let's mirror this, and here. So this will be our positions, so we can log them now. And let's start. Uh, drawing. So the way that I would do this, I would actually randomly make uh, a lot of these uh, balls and then we can actually fuse them together at the end. And uh, of course you would want this to be a bit random. You don't want to have them all the same size and also you would want them to be randomly distributed uh, in different positions, but for now we're just going to model one and then we're gonna copy it into the other positions and just rotate rotate uh, a bit. So let's see. I'm going to use I'm going to use the sphere and I'm just gonna model something very quickly now. Okay, so now once once I have all the geometry in place, once I have all the bolts ready there, I want to create this uh, big pipe. In order to get uh, to get correctly this uh, like lift of blast, I'm gonna use sweep command. Uh, so for that, I'm just going to offset this on the side and try to draw approximately. Uh, the shape of uh, that line. Let's 
something like this I'm just going to now trim it here and here here and here and I think yeah this will be good good to go and just move it here okay so once I once I have this uh, once I have this uh, edge I'm going to use command revolve I'm going to use uh, start of the axis here and this is the end and just double click and we have our our geometry there now let's move it to the center and we have the lift off geometry there we can modify it later if we need so for now it's okay uh, now let's see uh, we want to cut this yeah that would be good somewhere around there so let's draw a rectangle planar surface and let's split all of these balls like so So now we have the top only. There you go. So now let's let's create the rocket on the top. So in order to create the rocket, we're just gonna use the same command revolve and we're gonna make the flaps manually. So let's move on. Let's draw a line as a reference. I'm just going to hide this for now and I'm gonna start drawing the top I'm gonna to use planner to draw everything in one plane If I don't like the shape, I can refine it using the control points. Something like this. That seems all right. Maybe more pointy, something like this. Can maybe scale it down, up. On this side, on this side, and that seems about right. I'm gonna cut it here like so. So this will be maybe you can extend it a bit. okay because I'm looking now at the table and we want to get this <coughs> shape a little close as close as possible to it so let's say it's this is good enough and so let's see yeah the proportions are a bit bigger so let's scale it down a bit On just a little bit less yeah and this seems all right so so now let's create this geometry I'm going to use I'm going to use a circle here to create the radius and I'm going to use revolve again
there we go yep and now let's create some flaps for the rocket flaps should be I'm going to lock it for now and create a flaps Yeah, this is good enough. So something like this. Let's move it to the position. Offset surface. Let's use both sides. Distance. Let's say one. Too much uh, let's see 0 0.2 mm, yeah this can work another small thing we can do you can actually fill it this edge and this edge here and here like so okay so uh we have four of these so we're gonna mirror it and let's unlock and we have our rocket small rocket let's group it delete the rest show the lift hole blast and that's it so now let's go ahead and position them into the place i'm going to group all the balls on the bottom so that I can change them later and let's let's move it let me just see if I can find the center here I want to make sure that I have the center okay so Let's move this. So now if I want just to to get this point and I have so many intersections I can delete, I can actually turn off all these uh all these snaps and just leave the point snap and it will snap to that point. So now I have the point snap. There you go. Boom. then okay so let's continue now more or less the proportions are good maybe the table just needs to be a little bit smaller like so and now i'm just going to actually rotate this a little bit so it's not all the same i'm rotating it by random angles like so and uh, let's chop off the tops of these ones something like this and let's use boolean split and use the command remove from group and delete okay so, uh now let's yeah let's create this top table tabletop planner surface and uh, let's extrude up a bit 
like so. And let's use boolean split with this rocket. Take out this part in the middle. And that would be uh, that would be our table. Uh, now I'm going to render it and I'm going to show you how it looks at the end. So here is the final render. I uh, hope that you like the image and if you enjoyed these tutorials please uh, like, share and subscribe.